As I think if we can get first or second, we will keep our job, but anything lower than second, and it could be a very short stint in Sweden. We will kick off the league campaign, though, against Kalmar away from home. The aim's to win the league. Can we get off to a good start? What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan. I welcome to Club 3 episode 4 of the FM20 Campus to Champions as we start a brand new league season in the Allsvenskan, which is the Swedish Premier Division. So we are out of the Swedish Cup as we mentioned in the last episode. So we can now purely focus on our league campaign, which as you can see from the table, the board expectation is to win the league. And if our cup performances are anything to go by, it's going to be quite a tough season. So the only games you've really missed are friendly games to build up to the league season, which we dominated all three games. So it does fill me with a little bit of confidence, but... They are only friendly games, there's nothing really to write home about. But we will be kicking off our league campaign against Kalmar and Orobro in the Allsvenskan. No new transfers to report, really. I think the only ones I need to tell you are the ones that are going out. So we have loaned out our goalkeeper, Eric Holman Johansson, as we do now have Mexedo to play in goal. Other than that, nothing really to report. We've done all our transfer business, which you can check out all the players in the last episode. So we can now purely focus on our league campaign. So we will be starting off against Kalmar, and the lineup is going to be as follows. So we're going to have Folkson in goal because uh, McSado, our new first choice goalie, has picked up a virus. So good timing on the virus. So we will be playing our technically third choice goalkeeper in Folkson. That's going to start. And Samuel Brolin, who we've had to pick up from our under 23s or our reserves, he's going to be the backup. So we have our third and fourth choice goalkeepers ready to go. But we've got Nordegren, Sopranja, Ben Larmin, and Nathaniel Ario at right back. Karlström and Hansen comes back as the ball win midfielder. If you remember him, he broke his leg at the end of last year. So he has now come back to full fitness and he's going to be our ball winning midfielder. So we do have several different options in the midfield. We've got Pahoeper on the left hand side as Froling did pick up an injury. He pulled his knee ligaments. He's going to be out for three days. So he might be back in time for the Orobro game. But because he's out, Pahoe is going to be on the left hand side. Henderson and Nuh are the attacking options and we've got of course William Tunnell leading the line and hopefully going to grab us some goals so that is the lineup for the first game of the season our backup goalkeeper well our fourth choice can be number 40 and I have had a chance to sort up the squad numbers now so number 12 has been released as that number is for the fans I've got 18 available for a certain Glenn Green who's going to be coming in in July and then we've got 19 and 27 available as well. But we'll give Brolin number 40 as he's going to be a reserve goalie. He's not really going to need that squad number as hopefully Maxedo will come back in time for the next game. But we will be going up against Kalmar. And I'm going to tell them, you know, it's over to you. Have a good one, guys. Let's get our league campaign off to a good start. As I think if we can get first or second, we will keep our job. But anything lower than second... And it could be a very short stint in Sweden. We will kick off the league campaign, though, against Kalmar away from home. The aim's to win the league. Can we get off to a good start? Nine minutes in, we have a throw-in. Kalmar playing in the red, AIK in the black. The preseason has filled me with a bit of hope. But I think these two games are going to be a real good indicator as to where we're going to be towards the end of the season. Because if we can get two wins... It might get us off to a good start and get the league campaign going strong. But if we do falter, as Tanel wins the ball, he's through one-on-one. -on -one. Can he bury it? He cannot, as Sphagia makes a save. But Tanel always hanging around. But yeah, as I say, if we can get a couple of wins, it might get us off to a good start. Corner cleared away. That is the end of the highlight.
32 minutes corner. We are dominating this game. And no, he's disallowed. He's offside. Was that header going in, though? That's the question. Has Mabruck nah, caused us a, a non goal? Tanel headers it. Nah, I was going wide. So, nah, he's offside. Not going to count. But we are dominating this game so far. Coming up to half time, still nil nil. And if we look at the stats, we've got 12 shots, 5 on target, 63% possession. And it looks like our right back's lost possession more than anyone else. So I'm going to give it a bit of an assertive. I'm not happy with your performance out there. I'm going to give them a bit of kick up the arse to do something here. But we got 6.5 from Bahui, a 6 from 5 for Hansen. He's only just come back. So we are going to bring on Alstrand and swap them two over. And I'm going to keep an eye on Bahui because if he's playing poorly, we do have Kiki Silva off the bench. And I do want to bring on Ronnie Ario, our centre-back as well. He's starting to come back to full fitness, but lacking the match sharpness. So I am going to look to bring him on. In fact, we'll bring him on for Ben Larmin as he is looking on... Well, he's on 6.5. So double sub. We do need to start to turn this domination into goals 70 minutes in no highlights to speak of and i think uh, tenel's now on a 6.5 so i'm gonna bring brajanach on for him which i'm pretty sure that's like the sixth different way i've said his name but i'm gonna go back i want to go back to tactics here because clearly we need to go a little bit more direct we're gonna go a little bit further wide we're not gonna pass on the defense anymore we're just gonna try and do it route one as much as we can shoot on sight Try and get as many shots as you can. We're going to sort of go more direct as opposed to, you know, being patient and waiting for things to happen. I'm either going to... No, I'm not going to bring the defensive line up. I was going to do that, but I want to try and keep our defensive shape as it is. But last sub made. We're going more direct. Can we find the winning goal? As we have a highlight just after... Well, just before we've made the changes. So if we do score from this... I will cancel them and go back to our normal style of play as Karstrom, outside the era, picks up Ario from right back, crosses it for Bahui, and Nabil Bahui has scored the goal. We'll cancel the changes. We were just about to bring him off, I think. No, he was staying on. It was Tanel we are going to bring off. But it's almost like the team listened to me and went, oh, the boss is just about to make radical changes. Let's show him why. This is the way to go as Bahoe gets ahead a 1-0 up, 71 minutes. And that is going to change my uh, my way of approach. So ignore the last tactical changes I've just made. But let's have a look. We will still bring Tanel off, I think. So Brajanac can come on. But we are going to keep the way we're playing, dial it back to positive, And hopefully see this out for all three points. Throw in 80 minutes, 10 minutes to go. I would say it's been all us, really, as Nuh goes for a shot. I could say his name's New, but I think Nuh sounds a bit better. But Kalmar haven't really had any chances that I can remember in this game. It's not been a game full of highlights, if I'm being honest here. But Kalmar gets in the box, it's off the post, oh, it's in the goal! That's a terrible goal to concede. That is a horrendous goal. How on earth did that go in? Big Mark Weibig, he cuts inside here. He finds us Jensen, it comes off the post, and the goalie just watches it going off his foot. And we're now back to 1-1. What a horrendous goal to concede. And uh, looking at tactics, let's go back to direct, shall we? Let's go back to doing what we were supposed to do in the first place. Distribute to playmaker, long kicks, get everyone forward. We're going to go attacking. We're trying to find a winner. But uh, yeah, 1-1. One, one. Bit of a horrendous goal to concede. 86 minutes. Is there enough time for a winner here? As Nuh beats his man. Tries to go for a low drive and he gets it in. Get in there, my Brack Nuh. We'll bring it back to positive. We're going to keep on going direct. But it does look like we are going to take the lead here. 86 minutes. Just after that horrendous goal we conceded. As Mabrakna beats his man outside the area. Low drive. Goalie didn't stand a chance. And AIK are now 2-1 up. As we have another highlight. 88 minutes. As it's... Oh, it's offside. Not going to count. Whew. We save our blushes there. 
It is not going to be 2-1 or 2-2. But they've squeezed all the highlights into the last 10 minutes of this game. As we've not got five minutes of injury time to go. As Bahui's going to pick that up. And he's going to try and find Barjanach in the box. He goes on his own. Finds Nordegrun. And Muama Barjanach has got a goal. How did he get a touch? Because I thought that was Nordegrun that shot that in. Let's watch this together. We are 3-1 up. That's good news. But how on earth did Brajanac score this goal? So Bahui will cut it back. Nordegren shoots. Oh, it's a header. Brajanac with a little bit of a header. He gets it in. It's 3-1 to AIK. And uh, a lot of stuff happened in the last five minutes. But we've come out winners, which is good news. Three goals in ten minutes, including one that was disallowed for offside. I am going to give a calm... A good win, boys. Well done. So we do start the league campaign off with a 3-1 win, which I will gladly take as we do find ourselves top of the league after one game. And KG press conference from their third manager, Ronnie Ario. So he's the centre-back Ario, not the right-back. As we've got two Arios. We've got Ronnie, who's the centre-back. And we've got the Spanish one that's at right-back. Unrelated, but we'll praise Nah. He did well, and... Uh, they are bored. Top of the league. Done it. Completed it, mate. We've done it. They are. Do I fulfil the season objectives? I don't think that's going to be enough, if I'm, if I'm being honest. So, one game in, one win. We are now going to go to Ourobro SK, who are in 11th place. A team I know fairly close to Custer Profit, another YouTuber who does FM. So, we are going to be going up against them. And fingers crossed, we can make it two wins out of two. Mixing up the squad for the Ourobro game as we've had a few players come back from fitness issues. mercedes has gone over his virus. He's going to start in goal. Roddy Ario's going to make his full debut in the centre of defence. We've changed our midfield up. We've got Alstrand and Michelle coming in as the two midfielders. Just to give you an update as well, Felix Michelle, he's 29 years old. He does want to leave the club as he feels as if he's achieved all he can at AIK. So I've granted him his request. So 50 grand you can have him he's been with us since 2019 so you know you can you can have him i'm sure i can find a ball with a midfielder out there but them to come in midfield bahui henderson and Nuh keep their positions as well as tanel i might even swap out tanel for brazenach as brazenach did get a goal in the last game so i'm going to put brazenach in for tanel just to freshen up the squad as well a lot of wells we're going to win this game as well Get as many wells in as I can. So, we are at home against Ourobro. We are the favourites. I'm going to tell the team, pick up where you left off last time out. I have faith in you to make the difference. So, go out there and get a result. We are playing against Ourobro. We are at home. Can we get the job done and pick up our second win of the season? As we get a highlight two minutes in, AIK in the black, Ourobro in the white... As Michelle makes a brilliant tackle. That's why he's a ball winning midfielder. He is literally doing his job by winning the ball. Brajanac beats the defender. He's through on goal. It's deflected off the defender. And he almost had the chance to make it 1-0. 38 minutes in. Our first decent highlight of this game. And Brajanac has scored from the corner. It's our only second highlight of the game. Not much is going on here at the Friend Arena. But we do find ourselves 1-0 up from the corner. Alstrand crosses it in. And Moama Brajanach with a header. Our last minute decision to make him start has come up trumps. As we find ourselves 1-0 up going into the halftime break. A game we are really dominating here. We've had the possession. That's a foul. Is that a penalty? The ref's having a look at it. I think it is. And we have the chance to go 2-0 up here. Who's going to take it though? Number 14, Bahui steps up, takes the shot, it's in the goal. 2 0 up, two quick fire goals, and Nabil Bahui gets that goal for us. And I was just saying, you know, we've, it's a game we've been dominating, we've had the shots. Ourobro haven't really been in this game, and we have scored two late goals in the first half to really show that dominance. And we are playing very well so far. So I'm just going to say, I'm happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. I don't think I'm going to make any subs as of yet. So we go into the second half. 2-0 up. 
on the hour mark. Time to make some changes. Mabrachner is on a 6.4, but he's on a 6.5, even though he scored a penalty. So I think it will be Na that makes way. So if I move Bahui out to the right, do I have better options on the left? Mm, Kiki Silver? Yeah, we'll bring Kiki Silver on. So they do better the other way around, though. That's the question. So what are they? Two, two and a half? Yeah, two, two and a half, but Bahui is a natural inside forward. So Kiki can come on on the right-hand side. Apart from that, yeah, we're doing all right. So 60 minutes in, still 2 nil up. We do have ourselves a highlight as Nordegren... Plays it back to Mixedo, who's making his debut as well today on camera. Well, I think he is, yeah, because I don't think he played in the cup. But Henderson, long ball over the top to Brazenac. Brazenac is one-on-one. -on -one. It's a save from the goalkeeper, as we almost did make it three. But unlucky, we are making the chances. 73 minutes, just about to make a sub, but we will watch the highlight first. As Bagger for Orobro beats the defence. He's got options, finds Hedman in a load of room, and Ludwig Hedman has pulled the goal back for Orobro. 2-1 the score. He had a lot of room, to be fair. I think there were no defenders around him, and he just had the time to pick out the shot. So where's the right back here? That's the question. So there's Ario, there's the right back. Where's the defence? Ario's there. The two Ario brothers, not doing very well there. So we do find ourselves 2-1 up now. Orobro have pulled the goal back here. So I think it's time we make a change. Nordic runs on a 6.5. So I think we'll bring on nobody because we don't have a left back on the bench. But who do we have? But who is on 6.4? So unfortunately, he will have to make way. We will move... We'll move Alstrand out there to the left wing and bring on Karlstrom to be the box-to-box. -box. I do want to make a sub at the back, though, but no one really can play left back. So, unfortunately, Nordegren's going to have to stay there. But anybody else underperforming? Henders on 69%. So, I think we'll bring on Palmov there. So, all of our changes have been in the attacking positions. 15 minutes to go. Can we hang on for the win? Coming up to full time. I think we've done enough to get the three points here today. Not a lot of highlights going on. But I think that flurry at the end of the first half was enough to get us all three points. I'm going to... It says to say that the team was disappointing, but I'm going to say those are well done. I want to hype up the players. So I'm going to say, well done. That was a good win. I don't want to slag them off too much this early in the season. So we do make it two wins out of two. We are still top. Karlstrom bruises his ankle, but he'll be fine. The standard Liege boss is scouting Felix Michel. But if I do have a look at that league table, two wins out of two... We are starting off our league campaign very well against two sides in Orobro and Kalmar, although they're both not in the top half, but we can only beat the teams that's in front of us. So I think what we will do is we will come back around the end of May, just before the summer break. So we'll come back for Hammerby and Helsingborgs. I think Hammerby are one of our rivals, so I'll be nice to get a game in with them. So we'll have two games before the summer split. Or the summer break, I should say. But looking at it, so that'll give us a good, what? What's that? Four, eight games to really see if we are title challengers or if we are going to fall off by the wayside. But so far, so good. Two wins out of two. Six points on the table. The board want us to win the league. And we've done so far, so good with two wins out of two. But leave a like if you enjoy, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2020 content. We will be uploading Campus to Champions every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 6 p.m. GMT. And tune in next time as we will be going up against the two teams I've told you about, which are Hammerby and who was the other one? Helsingsborgs. See, I, I remembered. I just, you know, looked at the table and picked them out. But we'll play those two games. Can we keep up the title challenge? Thank you very much for watching.